Now, for a long time, I've been trying to find a good replacement for the Vampire Count's Monstrance Revenant. If you guys have been around for as long as Warhammer's been wrong, you know, the old-fashioned Monstrous Revenant model was an absolute god-awful travesty and looked terrible. <laughs> All-metal model. Looked completely out of place. Wasn't very vampiric at all, really. And, honestly, there has to be a good model to represent what it is to the fact that they finally scrapped it and put in the, uh, whatever those mm, mounts for VC they got now is in Warhammer. But with Ninth Age, I'm trying to avoid using a lot of Games Workshop parts. And I found this from Mirrors Miniatures called just the, uh, the Grant Nerthal. Um, I, I, it's going to be posted near the beginning of, of the video. You don't see how to actually spell it and how to look it up. But it looks like some kind of draconic, vampiric uh, uh, mount. And even the shield on the little guy here has what look, looks, looks like, you know, Blood Dragon iconography on it so i thought you know i'll, I'll go ahead and buy it and, and give it a go and see how it is on first glance i'm not too sure on the scale of this i think it could have been larger the the character that goes on top of it's pretty small too and y'all can see the comparison here in a minute but i'm gonna go ahead and get it all cleaned up get it put together and uh we'll see how it looks on from there And so here it is all done to complete. I went ahead and done the cleaning, the putting together and all that stuff separate. I had to bore you guys with the details. I like the overall appeal of this model. I didn't like how um, the shield is bolted on to the shield arm and the shield arm is attached to the body automatically. That kind of annoyed me. You all know, as you all can see from my previous videos, one of my biggest pet peeves is when people do that. I like the details. I like how you see the belt going along there, even belt. Uh, material going all the way around that was a pretty nice touch uh, the scales look fantastic um, they're gonna dry brush really really well uh, all the buckles and the belts around the chest and the throat you know they're all really nice I'm gonna do a little, do a little green stuffing there on that disconnect and there on that disconnect the jaw was interesting the jaw is filled with these little bitty tiny easily broken teeth I, f I, I, f I found myself doing cotton fingering a lot on, 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 on that mouth so I wouldn't break any of those teeth off. The head was interesting. You got these little horns here. I did my own little... I, I, I put them, put them how, 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 how I wanted to put them. <laughs> it's like, a oh, horn here and horn here. Why not? You know, nothing too in-depth there. Just horns. The face has excellent, has really awesome detail on it. You got the eyes and the face scales and the horns jutting out and all that. Facial armor, chest plate. The character itself, I'm not sure if they modeled the scale too well on that face because I pulled out a model I'm, I'm gonna do here soon that has a has a skull face on it. And, this, and this face in that skull is bigger than the face entirely on this character so I'm not sure if they modeled the scale correctly on that besides that uh, the the uh, this comes off by the way I have it kind of stuck on there the armor on the character looks really nice um, the chainmail looks nice the shield is very blood dragony as you can see so it'd be great for a blood dragon monster revenant combo for the, the, the Vampire Counts army. And we'll see how it paints up. Uh, I didn't like how when it came in, it was missing a finger. That, it, it, it came in like that. A lot of the parts, too, were missing. Like, it's supposed to be a little bridle here on both sides. I only had one piece of that that came with it. And that was kind of a little annoying. Um, so, and, and that's what the, the reins attached to that come down to here. So I wasn't able to, to complete the model due to missing parts. And that was a little upsetting. I, 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 I want to have a complete model to show you guys. So I'm not sure what happened in transit or where that piece went. But as you all know, most of the parts on there come in on these little little blisters like this. So it may have snapped off and fallen off somewhere in the vehicle. You know, just no, no telling where it went. But overall, it looks nice. It'd be an, an awesome uh, Monsters Revenant stand-in that doesn't look like garbage. Uh... You can do it like so, then paint it. I want to do some some green stuffing here and there to fill in gaps. That's about it. And let's go and do a scale check. Can't wait for that. Now we're going to compare it to both heroic scale and uh, a historic scale. See how it pans out. Here's old Dragon Boy here. So as you can see, it's a pretty large, largest model. At least it looks like on its own. Let's put a skeleton in here. So. This is a historic scale skeleton with a slightly heroic scale skull on it, but 
looks it looks pretty large even even still even right up next to him you know there's a definite there's a definite largeness to the model so it definitely looks imposing and let's go ahead and get a uh, historic scale horse on here so yep hold on a minute let's use a better example here that looks so weird here's a heroic scale horse full it's a, this is a full parry horse so there's no weird weirdness going on there and yeah he still looks pretty large so from infantry to cavalry to big boss nos here the scale still looks pr you know pretty solid look he looks large so he shouldn't or look too weird being next to uh any kind of a uh, historical scale models he'll, he'll still look large and imposing now it's kind of weird you have this and you have the heroic scale model here and he looks just barely bigger than the heroic scale model huh let me put it behind here you know a little different there so he's definitely larger in in beast but i don't know that body is awfully small even when compared to like a a peri body, it's awfully small. See, hmm. I'm not sure they got the skill right on that one. That body could the monster could be bigger, and the body could be bigger in my opinion. Uh, right now, it just seems way too small. Uh, to to really fit beside other heroic miniatures, because you see here, these the, uh, this monster and this horse is almost the same height. They're all actually you know what they are the same height. Right now they are the same height, despite despite this, despite this one being on a base, they are the same height. So that's rather interesting. Not sure, not sure if that, that should be the case here. Because <laughs> with the heroic scale, with the heroic scale, this one at least this one's still bigger. This how how how, how large this model is or the same height. So I don't know. I mean, the model looks good. It'd be a great stand-in for Monsters Revenant, but ah, that scale is really, really annoying. I just wish they had done the character bigger and the monster bigger, because I've seen some of the, some of the other monsters they got on their store page, and I th think they could have gone bigger with this one. I don't know. Still got a place in any army, you know, if you want like a, a dragon mount or you know a non-flying dragon or a worm of some sort. But for Monsters Revenant, this should just work, should just work just fine. Get some ornamentation on it and a good scenic base, and he'll fit right right into the army. I just wish that character model right here had been bigger. Even if it had been like a little bit big, even even if it was the exact same size, it made him bigger. It would still look better. Right now, that guy looks like a little little twig, <laughs> a little boy vampire. But I think overall, I'm gonna give this model uh, a, a B rank because of how fragile some of the parts are, like the nails. Um, and the, it mostly due to the fact of the scale of the of, of the dude on top, the rider, and the fact they got bolted on shield, uh, bolted on shield arm. But yeah, this could have been an easy A, an easy, easy a, a rank model just because of all the beautiful details on it. But I think just because of just the slight scale difference between itself and the rider, got to give it a B. Um, I would say. If you want to, you can simply take this monster and use it as a mount of uh, uh, in a, uh, just a mount of and of itself. It's it's, it's pretty tapped too. So that's, this hole is already pre tapped in there, which is kind of cool. But you probably slap any model you want to on top of here. Even if you want to get a something like this going, you know. So any any model can sit on top of that sucker and I think look better than the one it came with. To be honest, so. I would say if you want a slightly larger rider, get a mounted unit from uh, a mounted soldier from another unit and use that instead. Uh, do what you gotta do to make it make it fit, and I think just go on from there. That way, I think it'll look better at least than having that slightly smaller dude up on there. But yeah, B rank, kind of a shame. Ah well. So there y'all go. That's how it looks. Let's have us together, and it's. We'll see how it looks but painted here here in a while. I got a few. I, I got I got one more from Mears. It's a undead model, and then I have um, another Fire Forge, and then next month we get the whole all the new models rolling in that we'll be reviewing. So there you go. This is the uh, Mears miniature model, the name of which I cannot pronounce because I'm American. <laughs> uh, 
But uh, I'll be sure to put up in the beginning of the video so y'all can see what it's called in its description. And there we go. I'll see y'all next time.